So today we're going to be um, changing the tire of the Husky. We found a crack in the tire and then upon further inspection the tire in the Husky you know absolutely needs changing and it may seem like a very simple task to change a tailwheel tire and for probably a lot of you guys out there it is. Um, I thought I would go through a step-by-step um, because this is the first time I'm doing it and I'm fortunate to have some really smart Husky pilots as friends who have given me um, great step-by-step -step advice on how to do this. So we figured let's document it, let's uh, put it on camera and that way, uh, you know, any of you guys ever need to change a tire or a tail wheel, um, you'll have a reference point to um, start with. Okay, so come along and it'll be fun to uh, change our tire. What's up guys? I wanted to thank uh, Shermeyer Aircraft for sponsoring this video. Shermeyer Aircraft is an amazing way for an owner to earn additional income by listing their plane complete with pictures and videos uh, on the site. This is done all the time on bulletin boards and forums but very cumbersome to get done. Um, you can uh, add pictures, videos, qualifications, say I'm only looking for an instrument rated pilot or I'm looking for somebody with 500 hours time and type. Um, and make a very, very comprehensive uh, video for a uh, pilot who's seeking a plane. And for a pilot who's seeking a plane, Share My Aircraft knows where you're located. It'll show you all the planes in your local area. You can then filter them and say, um, show me only Cirruses or show me only Cessnas, uh, which is a really great feature. In addition, flight instructors are listed on the site and something really cool, you could say, show me when a listing comes available at my local airport. So you can put in a new listing alert. So Share My Aircraft, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. We really appreciate it. Today we're uh, at the uh, airport on a cold April day because we have to change the tailwheel. So here's what we got. We have a, we have some significant cracking in the tail wheel and I have a uh, better picture of that. So, um, first thing we got to do is raise the plane. So we're going to put the brakes on, Remy will pick up one side, I'll pick up the other side, we'll put that piece of wood on top of the uh, step stool there. Probably a little moving blanket on it just to keep everything good. Get that nut right there to be on top of the... Uh... All right, so first things first, let's put the uh, brakes on. We'll push forward, pull the brake up. Okay. Remy's got the music going, which is good. That was my head. <laughs> That's really good. Okay. So we lifted up the plane, put it on the stool, piece of wood, and a protective cloth. The tail wheel at the back of the plane is now resting entirely on the nut there. Okay. Now there's a cotter pin on this side of the tail wheel. We're going to need to take that out before we unscrew everything. Bend the cotter pin out. And Rem, I'm gonna take it over here. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna probably, I got new ones to put in, but let's get this one out. And then we'll start the answer. Undid the cotter pin, we're gonna pull that through and take the ball through. And it's gonna be pulled out on the other side here. And then we will talk about how we get the new tire. We're gonna deflate this tire, get as much air as we can out. And you see there's four screws in here. We will unscrew these and essentially take the assembly hub and put it around the new tire. Taking these off one by one. One side has to be held. We got two of them off. Okay. So we got the screws out and a uh, piece over there. Now, we got to put the new tube in the new tire. And to assist us in doing that, our old friend, Clubman Talcum Powder. Stand by. The pull the tailwheel assembly apart. Kind of uses 
brute force. There helps us be grease in the middle there too. All right. That side through room. Yeah, that's the plan. And if it's, you know, let's get the tire a little bit more deflated. Okay, let's get the tire yeah. a little bit more deflated. In this case, um, we had to really deflate the tire to get the other side out. Um, here is, uh, let's put the new tube in using talcum powder. And uh, we're gonna inflate this slightly just to get it snug so we don't pinch it when we put the hub back. Okay, in. we just uh, gave it a little bit of uh, air so it's snug within the tire. Um, not too snug, we're still gonna maybe move things around a little bit, but we don't want it to be pinched um, in the hub. Tire is back on. Obviously there's a inflation required here. We'll be right back. The tire has expanded. And uh, we're beautiful, ready to put it back on. New tire is back on. Now we're going to tighten it until it stops spinning and then we're going to release it a quarter to get a nice turn. And then we'll put the cotter pin, the cotter pin back in. Okay, stand by. Keep going. Okay, stop. Too tight. Now we let's release it. Does it stop? Okay. Tail wheel has been replaced. Cutter pin is in, and um, we're good to go. We're gonna nice job. lower the plane. Can nice take, job. Take the wood out. Uh, yeah, let's. Uh, oh. Hang on. It's on. It is pumped up to 4550. We'll we'll of course you know confirm pumping it up. We're gonna leave it overnight. Make sure there's no issues. And um, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for joining us as we changed our Husky's tailwheel. Yeah. Yeah. That was easy enough, right? That was easy.